Welcome to a new video here at the workshop, my name is Ipmalik. It's actually a big problem when you can't open your computer, and an even bigger problem is that you cannot access your personal files, programs and applications. You are trying to remember your password, but it doesn't work. You can reset your password and come up with a new one, but you didn't create a password reset flash drive. If you tried to remove the password in different ways, but nothing worked out for you and now you want to format your computer, please, do not do that. Today I will show you how you can easily solve this problem and get access to all your personal files. Do not worry, look carefully. Repeat exactly after me step by step, and we will succeed. To solve this problem, you will need a bootable Windows 10 or Windows 11 flash drive to install Windows on your computer. And if you already have such a USB flash drive, you can skip creating a bootable USB flash drive, and go straight to the process of installing Windows on your computer. To create a bootable flash drive, you will need another computer or laptop. And if you have only one computer with a forgotten password, then you can use the computer of your relative or friend. Creating a bootable Windows flash drive is completely free. And so, we turned on another computer to make a bootable Windows USB flash drive. If you previously had Windows 11 or Windows 8, then in order to not lose your Microsoft license and keep your personal files, applications and games that you installed earlier, you need to follow a certain procedure during the installation process. First action. At one of the installation steps, the program will prompt you to enter a product key, but here you do not need to use an activation key, click, I don't have a product key, and continue with the installation. Second action. In the window where you need to select the addition of Windows 10, you need to select the same addition that you had earlier. If you had Windows 11 or Windows 8 Home, you need to select Windows 10 Home. If you had Windows Pro, you must select Windows 10 Pro, then you will not lose your license and Windows 10 activation will happen automatically. And finally, the third action, it will be as simple as the first two actions. During the installation process, there is no need to delete partitions and format the disk for Windows, you only need to click on the disk with the old Windows that you had before, and after that click, Next. The Windows installer will save all your personal files, all applications and put them in the windows.old folder. We can read about this in a message from the installer. And so, in order to save the Microsoft license during the installation of Windows 10 and not lose your personal files, repeat all the steps from my video, step by step, and you will succeed. I insert the USB flash drive into the computer. And now I need to make sure that there are no necessary documents and files, because at the time of creating the Windows USB flash drive, all data will be completely deleted. You should know that a USB flash drive for our purpose must be at least 8GB in size, and as we can see, my flash drive is quite suitable. This can take quite some time and if you are installing Windows 10 on a laptop, connect your laptop to a power source before starting the process. Now let's move on to the next step, open your browser and in search right, download Windows 10 or open the video description and click the link to the Windows 10 download page. The Microsoft page is opened. Here we can get acquainted with the installation rules for Windows 10. And here we will download a special application to the computer, a tool for creating a bootable USB flash drive, and for this we will click, here. The application has been loaded and our browser can be closed. Now let's open File Explorer, and open the folder, Downloads. Double click on the icon, and the application will start. Here you must accept the terms of the license, accept. In this window, I choose to create a bootable USB flash drive. Next. If you uncheck the box here. In this window you can select the language for Windows 10. Next. In this window, we can choose to install Windows 10 on a USB flash drive, or we can simply download the Windows ISO file to the computer. I choose to install Windows on a flash drive, next. Here we see our USB flash drive and click next. Remember that the speed of the process will be determined by the speed specified in your internet contract. Now we will wait for the procedure to complete to continue with our video tutorial. And so, we see right now, 
your USB drive is no longer in the wizard, and it's done, you just need to click here where it says, finish. If you look here, open this computer in Explorer, then open the contents of the flash drive. And here we already see all the files necessary to install Windows 10 on the computer. So, in order to install Windows 10 on a computer, you need to restart it and call the start menu. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The installation menu opens. I'm not changing anything here. Next. Install now. Here you need to enter the activation key, I used to have Windows 11 installed on my computer, and now I don't need to enter the product key, because the activation of the new Windows 10 will be done automatically. I click, I don't have a product key. If you had Windows 11 or Windows 8 Home, choose Windows 10 Home, if you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 10 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Here I choose Windows 10 Pro. Next, I accept the terms of the license. Next, click here to continue with the installation. In this window, we see all the partitions and drives connected to the computer. Here I have a partition with an old Windows and three small system partitions. In order not to lose personal files and applications that I had on Windows 11, in no case should anything be deleted and formatted here. It is necessary to mark the disk with Windows, it is the largest in size here, and click, Next. The installer reports that all files from the previous Windows will be moved to a folder named Windows Old, and upon completion of the installation of Windows 10, we will have access to all its files. I press, OK. We won't have to do anything for a while, you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will automatically reboot several times. Please, don't turn off your computer. And just like that, all the Windows 10 files have been loaded, and now we need to do some configuration. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip. I choose, for home use. Next. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in, or create a new account. I'm going to create a local account. I like this name. Bond. James Bond. Next. I'll set the password later. Next. I agree to the privacy terms. Next. The new Windows 10 welcomes us. There is not much left. Yes. I did it and now I have a brand new Windows 10 on my computer. Hope everything went well for you too. I press the button, start. Then, settings. And here we will see how the automatic activation of the system went. Yes, I have Windows 10 Pro installed and activated with my digital license. Now I open, File Explorer. Then, this PC. And double click on the C drive. Here is the Windows old folder, and it should contain all my personal files. I open this folder. Then the folder, Users. Here I open the folder with my username. If you remember, 
there were several folders on my desktop in Windows 11, and I opened the desktop. Yes, here is my old video folder and my photos folder, and I will check if I lost my files or not. No, I didn't lose anything, my files were saved. Now I will open the program files folder and see how my applications from Windows 11 have survived. Yes, my applications are also preserved. They work, and I can use them on Windows 10. And so, now you know how to install a new Windows, keep the license, and save your personal files from the old Windows. I hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful please share my video with someone. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck!